Quezon City Mayor Joy Belmonte announces she tested positive for COVID-19. Belmonte says she has no symptoms so far. She says she expected to get the virus given her work for the city has required her to go to health centers, hospitals, and areas under special concern lockdown. Belmonte says she hopes her condition serves as a warning to others about the infectiousness of the disease. She notes she strictly abided by health protocols and still got the virus. Quezon City, the largest in Metro Manila, also continues to have the highest number of coronavirus cases. As of Tuesday, it reached 3,793. The death toll in the city is at 247. Meanwhile, journalist Howie Severino is detained by Quezon City law enforcers for lowering his face mask to drink water. In a Facebook post, Severino says he biked with two companions until they took a break at a bike shop along Mother Ignacia Avenue. Severino says at least three vehicles of QC law enforcers arrived to tell him he was talking without a mask covering his mouth. Severino is brought to the Amoranto Stadium for a seminar on the coronavirus. He notes there are hundreds of people rounded up in the stadium, which goes against expert advice discouraging mass gatherings. Severino has been infected with the virus and has already recovered. In Brazil, President Jair Bolsonaro announces he tested positive for the coronavirus. Bolsonaro says he's feeling perfectly well and had only mild symptoms. He adds he's taking hydrochloroquine. Bolsonaro then takes off his face mask to emphasize the point in front of journalists. Since the beginning of the virus outbreak, Bolsonaro dismissed the threat, calling it a little flu. He flouted social distancing rules and containment measures, such as wearing a mask in public. Brazil is the second worst hit country in the world by the pandemic after the United States. Meanwhile, in the U.S., U.S. President Donald Trump lashes out at Harvard University for its decision to move all its courses online. Trump calls the move ridiculous. Trump has been pushing for the reopening of the United States even as virus infections continue to spike.